Hello there, welcome back to another Wolves Wednesday. This time it's com something completely different. I met uh, Dave as a party, who's another Wolves related YouTuber the other day. And I spoke to him about YouTube and Football Manager, which he does on YouTube, and also the Wolves. And he did also pick his favourite Wolves 11, but I'm going to keep that little section for a later video. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out his channel as well, which I'll leave in the description. And I'll do a little end screen as well for him. So thank you very much, Dave, for meeting me. And I hope that you, the viewer, enjoys. So thanks for, That's thanks for joining me. Probably Football Manager's coolest YouTuber, yeah. I'd say. Compared yeah. to some of the others. Yeah, some of the guys, yeah. Well, first of all, I'd like to ask you about the prostate cancer charity. So oh, yeah. Doing. When, when is the walk for that? Uh, the walk for that is start of June, I think. I did it last year, um, and mainly because, well, because my granddad suffered prostate mm. cancer, so I never really looked into it and stuff, but um, fundraised quite a lot of money, used football manager to help out with that. And they were doing it from the Molyneux to St Andrews. So we started at the Molyneux, walked through like past uh, Warsaw, West Brom, mm. Villa, and then ended in Birmingham. Doing it again this year, but I think it's um, Kidderminster to Shrewsbury, I think. So it's a bit further out, but yeah. it's more kind of uh, rural and stuff like that mm. as well, going on the train. And it's still ex-footballers and stuff? Are they yeah, it's about? still Jeff Stelling. Um, I'm not sure what ex-footballers will do it, but because it's off season this year, because it was during the season last oh. year. Because it was around this time last year. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure more footballers or ex managers and so on will help out this year as well. Yeah. Uh, how much are you trying to, what's your target? Um, they try and let you, well, they tell you to kind of raise a minimum of £300, mm. which I think I've already done more or less. But I wanted to, I think I got about £600 last year. I want to get to about 750 if I can. Mm. So, hopefully, I'm going to do a bit more fundraising next yeah. month or so. I won't be able to do it. Good. Uh, so, to talk about your YouTube channel then. So, I've I first heard about you or saw you about a year ago, funnily enough, the video that you put up yesterday of Steve Bond. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the, the first same manager I saw, the first video I saw last uh, Yeah, yeah, last year. Uh, so, what would you say is the best thing about being on YouTube? Um, I think it's just all the interaction. Like, I've spoke to people that I've probably never even speak to before in my life, and I've met a lot of people that I've classed as friends now that probably kind of live on the other, other side of the country. Yeah. And, like, with Football Manager as well, like, I speak to people now every day, like to do with football manager I met, and we don't necessarily talk about football manager, we just play other games. Yeah. But I speak to these people every day, and just the interaction and stuff like that, and um, that's probably the best thing to be well, sure. I, Since I mean, I've only been really been doing it for the last couple of months, mm. but uh, you will hear all about trolls and all these old yeah, yeah, yeah. but the, I haven't come across one yet. To be honest, I, I've probably been doing it two or three full years, and I've never had someone like that, mm. like. There have been people leaving sarky comments, but not as yeah. such like a troll, as yeah. such, I'd say. And yeah. I think as well with football, you're pretty used to, it's very, you know, passionate and people hate yeah. certain teams. And I would expect people, some people would go and watch opposition's videos just to slide them off. Like, yeah, well, I've had, I've had some people like that, like, especially um, such with the Leeds vlog when we played them no. at home. Like, just all their fans, like... I didn't. I don't think I've ever said a bad word about a team in a vlog, but yeah. they, they were just like horrendous. <laughs> like I didn't say a bad word about Leeds. I said, "Oh, their sports brilliant," but it was like mm. all Leeds and Leeds every yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, but yeah, I act for it. Especially with the Wolves dogs as well. When I started those this season, mm. like I've seen people that or met people that I've never spoke to before or never seen before, but they watch the vlogs. Mm. And then there was one lad. I think we saw him after Forest away. I think I've seen him every week since then, like he says hello and stuff yeah. like that, but I've never, I've never yeah. met him before yeah. that as well, yeah. and it's just purely because of the vlogs as well. Yeah. So what would you say is the worst thing out about YouTube? Um, I think it's kind of, it's hard when you all of a sudden, like, especially with me, because I was like uploading daily, like for the last few weeks, and then all of a sudden it takes a couple of days to knock you out of sync, and then you struggle to upload again. Yeah. So it's just trying to find the time to upload, especially when you got a busy like work schedule and obviously social schedule yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, worst thing about recording Football Manager on YouTube is like it's so stop start. Like you want to carry on with a save and like that's what I found because uh, I've I've done a few that I haven't uploaded. Yeah, and I thought right, I've got to a point now where I want to film, but it's not. It's not yeah. the right time and then you have yeah. to wait then for Yeah, the worst is when like, I normally record or play in like an evening and then like I get to the match day like to record but I just want to carry on but it's about half ten so it's like a bit too late to record. Yeah. So it's like then you got to stop and then just wait until the next day. That's why I need to try and get like an offline save that I can just yeah, play yeah. like non-stop yeah. then. Yeah. But, yeah. How do you decide as well which which teams you're going to do? Because 1860 Munich recently, so that's a random game. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I don't know, it, like, this year I did uh, Real Madrid. That was kind of like, I wanted to start off with a big team. One, to kind of try and get a bit of, it, bit of exposure, but I don't think it worked the way I wanted it to, mm. to be fair. Especially because Spanish, it's not the biggest English-speaking country, so it's not like Spanish people. Blah, but still, you know, they're a global brand. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, but that didn't go too, too well. And then I did Rotherham, mainly because that my younger sister, her boyfriend, plays for Rotherham. Right. But I did them and I like, that did really well to be fair. I don't know whether it's because it was English or mm. whether, how it went. Um, and then this time, 8060 Munich, and I was watching uh, another YouTuber, football manager YouTuber, and he was doing a lower league German save that I was watching. Mm. And it was proper interesting. I said to him, like, what is a decent lower team, where you, like lower German team where you can still build up? Yeah. And he said, do 1860 Munich or, uh, I can't remember the other one. It was, um, I think it might have been Hanover because they were in the division below as well. Mm. And because the story's kind of there, because AT60 Munich, obviously with Bayern Munich. Well, they were tri- they were bigger than Bayern Munich yeah, when they first started. Exactly, and they share the stadium and so on. So I just went from there, really. And um, again, I've, I've, I think I've gained German subscribers off yeah. of it, because I did it last year with Ajax, and I gained so many Dutch yeah. subscribers. Mm-hmm. But yeah, normally it's just random. Like, yeah, it's just yeah. a team comes in my head, and I yeah. just go for it. When did you yeah. decide then, right, that's, that's enough, I'm going to do a different team now? Uh, I think it just when it just becomes a, a bit too stale. Well, so the penultimate episode of your 1860, you were very, very annoyed when you, when you could tell. Oh, yeah. It's, you know, it's yeah, like, I think I'm going to do, I think I might do one more year of that, but like, because it's it's hard because of the, I don't know, I've got a lot of money off it, like, um, find, like in the, in game, mm. we've gained a lot of money and the stature of the club's like increased so much, but it's just so hard to knock Dortmund and buy yeah. off the top because they're just, Split, like Bayern brought my left back 30 million he played twice for them so yeah. it's just ridiculous yeah. so you, how long has it taken you to grow then to the current you know just over 4,000 4,000 now yeah um well when I was a lot younger I just I did like little videos like um like football montages and stuff so that gave me like a little like tiny subscriber base of like 200 before I started off mm. but regular uploads started I think it was I did a wall save, no it wasn't walls, it was a Burnley save on FM 15 I think. Mm. And then I stopped for a few months and then I started with, I think I did two on the, around the same time. I did a walls one and I did one based in Malta as well. Um, and they were getting like 60 views consistently, which for a football manager only channel starting yeah. off, it's, it's quite decent. And then um, it only really blew up, uh, probably say two years ago now, when I started doing some more experiments and stuff, mm. and the subscriber base just blew up, and from there really just carried on growing. Because yeah. once you get a lot more subscribers, that's when you view, your videos start popping up on suggestions yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, what tips would you give them to, because I'm thinking about starting from yeah. YouTube, but I find, like, the ideas I've had are either, have been done before, or like, like Golden FM this yeah, year yeah. with Regen Rovers. Yeah. Um, like that's blown his channel up massively, um, and it, just everything about his it, catchy name. It's a good idea, but then you think, well, I can't do that now. That's done. Mm. So if you did it, you wouldn't. Well, you'd be yeah, it's hard with football managers, especially because like, it's very hard for everything to be unique. Because I could do a Manchester United save next year, and then there's three or four other people that have done it this year, and it only takes one of them to say, oh, why are you, why are you yeah. copying me and so on. So like, it's so hard to get everything unique, especially with experiments like. If you get a very unique experiment, then you're quite lucky because, yeah. like, you know. Well, I see, um, I've done one now, but it's basically that emulating one. Mm, well, then that, 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 that's what gets the subscribers like involved yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's what people like to see. But um, tips wise, I'd probably just say make sure you've got good audio, which I think you have anyway. Um, just try and be consistent. And I, I think you've done the right thing with like, like trying to practice doing videos without loading them or. Uh, or put them as private and send them to someone like myself, yeah. just have a quick watch through, because that's the best thing, just do practice. But if you want to start, start as soon as, once you're confident enough to do it, and then I know it's coming probably to the end, so you might not reap the awards as such now. Yeah. Or but once you've got practice good, for Netflix, yeah, yeah, and then you've got your foundation, you should be able to get like 200, 300 subscribers off it now, and then when the new game comes out, mm. well, so not yeah. Perfect. Not necessarily online, but have yeah. you got a particular football manager save that you remember really fondly? I've got two. Uh, there was one on FM09, I think it was, which is probably my best, well, favourite ever save. I started off with Wolves, and we were just proper up, down, up, down. So I think in the end I got sacked from Wolves, and I got the Liverpool job. And it was just one of those where I signed um, John Fleck. And I had, when I was Wolves manager, I signed Stephen Fletcher from the Burnian, like before we oh, signed yeah. in real life. Yeah. 
And he was actually decent in the Prem. So I signed him for Liverpool as like a backup striker. And in the end, I had John Fleck and Stephen Fletcher as my strike force for Liverpool. And they won Scotland the Euros as well. <laughs> those two, yeah. But um, that was quite a fun save. Or most recently, I think it was FM 14 or 15, I had a journeyman save. Mm. Started off with Bristol Rovers when they were in the conference. Got them consecutive promotions to League One. And it's one of those where I regretted it because I wanted to stay at Bristol Rovers. But I jumped ship to the Prem. It yeah. didn't quite go to plan. I had to work my way back up here. So I was a solid championship mani- like championship level manager for a few, mm-hmm. few years. And then we I joined Brighton and got them in the Europa League the next year. So, oh. so Have you ever got to the point where you've had the Azamardi <coughs> Arena? Or... No, I've never no, got to that I mean, point. No, I've, I've, only never... just, with, <coughs> I've been playing it FM 2013 yeah. for, since it came out. Yeah. And I've just now, in the year 2050, so yeah. I've just about got to that no, point. I've, um, I've never had it. I had. Um, I've never had a son or anything either like that. But uh, there was a point on. Uh, I did a Chelsea save a couple of years ago, and we won like four or five Champions Leagues in a row. And they were saying, right, we build a new stadium. And it was called like the Zona, the Zona, yeah, Zona, Zona yeah. Arena. Was well, like, yeah, 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 something yeah. like that. And I was there, like, I was good to that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you've just answered. Well, kind of answered my next question as well. Are there any players that you found on Football Manager before they've made it? Um, in real life. Lukaku, I, I used to sign him from Anderlecht um, before and many people had heard of him. Mm. Uh, Sammy Deli Ali, I think, I used to sign him about three or four years ago when he was still kind of in the youth team, MK Dons. And then kind of, but it's hard because now you go, oh, I've heard of Deli Ali three or four years ago, and everyone's like, oh, who cares? <laughs> but um, you know, there was, oh, what's his name? Um, is it Babacar from Fiorentina? Oh, he's yeah, he's there, right? yeah, he, yeah, he's good. Um, even like Sonogo used to be quite yeah. highly rated. He's not. Like, Babacar and Sonogo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, they were really good. Yeah. Babacar was like incredible. But uh, I'd probably say those are probably the uh, the best kind of well, more well known players that I found. I think uh, that Kuki from this year might be a star in a couple of years in real yeah. life. But yeah. we'll have to we'll have to see because he's still quite young anyway. Yeah. yeah. Right then, let's talk about the Wolves then. Now. So, yeah. what was your first memory? What's your first Wolves game? If you can remember. I think uh, I don't know how old I was. I probably went to games before this as a like a very young child. But the one I can remember was against Burnley. I think I can't think of the years. Probably oh three oh. It wouldn't be oh three. Might be oh four oh five. I think we won two. We did, we did. We did play them in oh three or four in the, the League Cup because they were. They were it could have been that. Man. It could have been. Yeah, it could have been that. It was a two 0 win. Now I'm fairly sure. But I, I can't remember anything. Well, I, I remember that game. Uh, because their goalkeeper was that Hungarian bloke who wears the uh, oh the trousers yeah yeah, okay, yeah. I've never seen him before yeah yeah, yeah yeah uh, what about your favourite Wolves game ever favourite or favourite three or favourite Wolves game ever that I've probably been to was probably probably the Robin game when we beat him six four because that's just like that'll always stick in memory yeah. as well but especially like. I think the only thing that kind of overshadowed that was like everyone running, running onto the pitch, like. Yeah, or you uh, sitting in the South Bank end and you. I I, I you, didn't then. Oh, right. Yeah, I didn't then. But yeah, like I was sat at the time in the family enclosure, so I was right by it, but oh. like not actually there. So, but I was right by the Sam Ricketts goal and he killed it. And that I was the, that was the goal where I ran down the steps. You were like, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about your worst moment uh, with the Wolves? So like. I want to say that when we got relegated from the championship, but that was actually a really like decent day out. Like when, <laughs> honestly, like we, I went to Brighton and like the fans were like incredible that day. So it wasn't like as if it was like the worst day out. The, well, the worst moment was the week before. Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that was Oh, that was, oh, that was horrible. Like because I went after the match, I got the bus to Dudley and it stopped in town, and someone like walls and chucked something, and the window shattered. All that. It's only like plastic, like but yeah, it got proper had me in shot there, but. Yeah. That's when I was like, oh, like we definitely because I always had faith up until that match. We were going to stay. I, I gave up in the November. Of that yeah. I was writing down all the scores and everything until November. I can't remember what it was. But I was thinking, oh god, if you can't beat them, then that is it. Yeah, and even um, with Terry Connor, I was like, oh, he'll keep us up. He'll keep us up. <laughs> I remember yeah. his first game. It was against Newcastle, wasn't it? They'd had an international yeah. break, but they said they were going to get in a, a new, experienced manager. And then they got him in the day before the Newcastle game. Because they'd also said, we're going to have a new manager by that Newcastle game. So they'd sort of shot themselves in the foot with that. And then they were 2-0 down. Then they came back to... Yeah, I remember that one, yeah. Yeah. But, and what about your best moment then? But just one specific moment with the Wolves. That's hard, yeah. Yeah. For me, I I don't want to say the Liverpool game yet. Oh, yeah. yeah, Because it feels too recent. But that... The Liverpool game was weird because... um, 
obviously I'd gone to the Stoke game as well, and we looked at the team. And I was like, there is no. They had a full strength team out, and we almost had like a B team out. Yeah, we dressed. And I was there like, what is going on? Like we, because I, we were late to the game as well, and I was I was dreading it. So we were about ten minutes late. I thought we were already going to be one 0 down before we even get there. Mm -hmm. And the way we play, like, it, the, like they actually brought on kids that had never played before as well, like Morgan Gibbs yeah. White and so on. Yeah. And then the Liverpool game as well, it was a bit iffy, the team. But it was a, Normally what I do, I record for like the, all, every set piece that we have. Yeah. And I'd recorded all like, the Never Walk Alone and so on, and stopped. And like, I was stopped when we got the free kick, oh. and it went in, <laughs> and I was like, gutted. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's got to be up there yeah. for me. We, you know, I suppose you're a bit, did you go to the playoff final or were you too young? No, no. no. So for me, that's the, that's yeah. the, uh, the peak. Like, but I think I wish I'd have been a bit older. I was only 12 at the time, so mm. I can't read it. And I didn't have to go through the 19 years of waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. I mean, that was, as uh, the way we won it fairly comfortably oh. as well, that would have been like brilliant, yeah. Right, so then thinking about this summer now, mm. which have you got any ideas of players that Wolves need to sign or specific areas? Uh, area wise, I think I probably <laughs> probably like every position. I'd probably say like, yeah. but I'd probably get a new goalkeeper in. I don't know as such to be a number one over Akimi because he's a bit more competition yeah. than me. I don't I don't rate Lonergan that highly to be honest. I, I mean he he was great at Forest, but like I've seen maybe one too many mistakes off him, especially at like Derby and Norwich earlier in the season. Mm. Like he was really poor. Um, and Akimi is prone to a mistake. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Losing made a mistake, but they they're more rare with. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Akimi, they are they are more rare. Uh, left back wise, I mean, I I do rate Doctor. I heard he had a, a bad game against Bristol God, City. Terrible. Yeah, but absolutely I do rate him. Um, I don't know what's happening with Borthwick Jackson. I yeah. think he would have been a yeah, Silvio as well. He's yeah. coming back, so whether he's whether he'll he's only had a one year contract. Yeah, they have got Yeah, so I hope. We can get another year out of him because I think he looks okay, Silvio, especially with like the Portuguese link down there. Because yeah. I don't think he played with Cavalero or maybe only one game, both yeah. of them together. Um, I bring in another centre half. I don't think Williamson will stay. I think he's a really good player, oh, yeah. but he's it's not fit. Is, we is do he? need somebody like him, mm -hmm. an experienced centre back and big and hard. Like, um, what's the bloke who plays for Bristol? Oh, Flint. Yeah, Flint. He's, yeah, he's, Flint. he's massive, isn't he? He's right? the yeah. biggest player I've ever seen. Yeah, I think. I think um, I'm sure I saw a link with us with him, like a take him uh, as a third or fourth centre half to help. Because I think Courtney Horse is like cementing his team, but again, he's a still a little bit too young. That's so. it. I, I don't think Bart is clever enough for, to no. be. Bart's Bart played Bart. better well, he's got league, this yeah. year, but yeah. at the start of the season he was shocking. You can't have that. Up like. until well, up until this run really that they've gone on recently, mm. he was dire. He... Right, so your predictions for next season then? What, what do you reckon? Uh, as long as we can keep Costa, Cavalero, and I think add a, a very decent striker, as you say, it can score 15, 20 goals, I think we can push the playoffs. Um, I mean, I, I watched the interview with Jeff Sheehan, he says that the squad now could get playoffs, and I was there, like, no. But we on the current form, yeah, with, with maybe one or two signings, we could definitely do it, but I think. I don't think they'll renew Savile's contract because they would have done it already if they wanted to. Um, well, they've already done Lee Evans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Player. yeah, so I don't think they'll keep Savile. Which is, a, I'm not going to say it's a shame because we could, probably could get a little bit of money off him, but well, I don't know. I don't know not a massive league, amount. So I, he's not a League One player. He's about 250 grand, but I don't think that's peanuts to like suppose him really. No. But yeah, as long as you get a striker in I there. I think if he'd have scored that goal against Chelsea, oh. I think he'd have... He'd his, his career would have gone upwards, but since the, he just didn't, hasn't seen those. the same players since then. No, it's just one of those. But um, yeah, as long as we can keep Costa recovered. Because imagine it, this season, if we had a, a decent striker that can oh. score goals, we'd be. Well, the sky's the limit, you know what I mean? When we got relegated from the Championship, Ebanks Blake scored something like 15 goals yeah, this yeah, exactly. season. If you add that to the team that we've got now, we would be Easily. on the edge yeah. of the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. What, what do you think about Weimar then? Should we sign him or. Um, I don't rate him as a winger at all. Like, I don't. I think going forward, like as a striker, he's all right. But yeah, as a winger, he's just a bit. I don't think he can take on a man as much as like Costa and Cavalero can. And then you have got Graham and, and Zyro. So it depends to sit. Like it depends if Lambert sees him as a striker mm. rather than a winger. I wouldn't sign him if he's going to play him as a winger. But I suppose for one point five million, it's not the biggest high risk signing no. ever. No, with mean, with the money that we're going to splash around in the summer, so there's no. Yeah, no I think it. I, I'd, I'd probably sign him up um, as a striker, and then you've got 
Bod Varson, who may or may not stay. Dicko, again, who may or may not stay. What do you think of Bod Varson? I think he's alright, he works hard, but I'd like to see him on the wing because he plays there for Iceland and I think he could be a decent winger. A bit like um, when Siggy used to play on the wing, I thought he was alright on, on the wing. A lot of people d disagree with me, but I thought going forward, I think it was um, Bristol City away when we were in the Championship when we came down. He scored a couple of goals. Yeah, the front four was uh, Saka on the left, Siggy on the right, and Doyle and Ebanks play up front, and that game we were like awesome. Like Going forward, it was so, so dangerous because Siggy was big, but he was quick as well. Yeah. And he's a good dribbler as well, so... Um, uh, Bob Varson doesn't seem like strong enough for a big lad, do you think yeah, yeah. he'd be stronger? To be fair, he's got a decent like, turn of pace and stuff, but yeah, he just snatches at his chances a little bit. and it, it's. I, I'm not going to put the blame solely on him, because I think the midfielders at times, like through the middle, like struggle to create chances. They and don't, don't, they don't get run the ball, the ball forward, do they? Yeah, and I've never really seen us whip the ball high into the box towards him to head it in either. I'm, I think I we're the only team him. as well who have free kicks 30 yards from goal who go backwards and go back yeah, to the yeah, They never, sure. ever just yeah, get into the long ball ones. forward. Especially with his height, I don't think we've ever exploited it as much yeah, as we should have, no. I was glad that he scored the other day, though. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully that just gives him a little boost of confidence yeah, as well. Yeah. Right, I've got some quick fire questions for you. I don't, okay. need, to, don't need to think about these at all. I want you to <laughs> just tell me what you prefer, right? Now. Yeah. I'll hide in this one. Right? Oh, yeah. So, so they're all fairly, yeah, they all are football related. Yeah. Not necessarily rules related. Okay, so North Bank or South Bank? Uh, I've sat in both, but I'll probably go with South Bank, just for atmosphere wise. Uh, Barca or Real? Real. Celtic or Rangers? Oh, uh, Rangers. Vardy or Mahrez? Vardy. Messi or Ronaldo? Ronaldo. Champions League or Premier League? Premier League, I'll go with. Yeah. Costa or Cavalier? I've got to go with Costa. I, I do like Cavalier as well, yeah. <laughs> you only read the impact he's made since. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's yeah. Really, really good. Uh, football manager or FIFA? Play, I, I, again, I play both, but football manager more, so I'll go with FM, yeah. The Euros or the World Cup? World Cup, yeah. Wenger in or out? Ah, probably go out, yeah. I think, yeah. I think he's past it now, yeah. He, he can't come back. No, no, no. Like no. Uh, and finally, England or Malta? Malta, I'll go with. When, I, when we played there, I went to Wembley and I supported Malta. Yeah. So a few factors, I knew England would win, so I'd just give Malta a bit more support, yeah. yeah. There we go then, some great tips there from Dave for anybody looking to start a YouTube channel, particularly with Football Manager. If you have a look at his channel, you'll get some great ideas as well with that. Really enjoyed talking to him, good bloke, check out his channel now, drop him a subscription. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.